Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons <laughs> tonight uh, going to be smoking Kimbao. This is a new private label cigar from JR Cigars, jrcigars.com. Uh, this is blended by Christian Eroa. It is a Honduran cigar. It has a Honduran wrapper. Honduran binder and fillers from Honduras, Nicaragua, and Peru. Uh, it's got quite a colorful band on there, and from what I understand, Kimbao is Cuban slang for crazy or nuts or toasted. Let me get this toasted in a second. It's a nice looking cigar. Uh, of course, can't see under that band, but it's got a beautiful dark wrapper. Very, very fine veins, hardly visible. And the seams are practically invisible. Uh, JR Cigars. Uh, has more private label cigars than anybody I can think of. Uh, it seems every time I get a sampler or I get, you know, uh, something that is new in there and I look and uh, I get the catalog, I look it up, it's like, wow, this is another house brand from JR. Uh, they have house brands from a lot of major players in the cigar industry, AJ Fernandez and Rocky Patel and uh, Drew Estate. But this one is, uh, as I said, a Honduran from Christian Eroa. So add it to the stack of JR Cigar house brands. They are many. Uh, recently, I just did a couple of uh, uh, the Witch Doctor from AJ Fernandez. That's a that's a JR house brand. Uh, the El Rey del Mundo Nicaraguan house blend of JR can't get them anywhere else. That's just a couple that I can think of offhand. I'm sure there are several more I've done. Hmm. Just want to say I caught a whiff of that smoke before I took a puff. It smelled really good. First puff is nutty. <laughs> hmm. What do you expect? cracking myself up here. Mm. Nutty, nutty, earthy, very rich, a little spicy. Interesting start. Uh, take this into the first third here and see what develops. See just how crazy the Kimbao gets. I'll be back. Okay, welcome back <clears throat> to the cigar area with Kimbao from JR Cigars. I uh, got a pretty straight burn going on here. Almost perfect. A little bit of a curve in there. But got about an inch of uh, nice light gray ash. 
uh, from the look of the ash and the feel of the cigar, it's pretty well rolled cigar. It's, it's got a soft spot here and here, and I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, gonna keep my eye out for any dips in the burn, but as far as flavors go, I have four very distinct flavors out of this so far. Earthy, that earthy richness, leather, sweet molasses, and a light spice. Uh, when I say earthy, it's a, it's pretty much, you know, uh, I'll say that a lot of times, uh, a rich tobacco core flavor. It's, it tastes like tobacco. It tastes like a, you know, when you're, when you're a kid and the first time you, you know, you smoke a cigar, you know, maybe it's, it's a, uh, El Producto or a Phillies or one of those machine made jobs that you know you swiped out of your grandfather's box on his dresser or whatever. <laughs> the first puff you get and it just tastes like tobacco. Well that take that flavor and add some richness and depth to it. That's kind of what I mean when I say earthy and tobacco core. It's a basic tobacco flavor. And then this has a nice leather overtone to it and that molasses sweetness. Uh, when I first got the sweetness about, I don't know, four or five puffs in, my initial thought was, oh, chocolate but it's not chocolate or cocoa it's it's like a molasses uh, more of a uh, uh, caramely sweetness like that and uh, the spices is, is light it's not a it's not a black pepper not even really a white pepper spice it's it's just a nice pleasant spicy uh, aftertaste on the finish Medium strength. It's it's uh, touted as a medium-bodied cigar, and so far it's uh, living up to that. It's a nice draw. Lots of good smoke. So far, so good. So I'm going to continue into the uh, second portion here and be back with the results welcome back with <laughs> Kimbao the uh, Christian Iroa cigar from JR it's just about up to the band now which I'm going to take off I had <clears throat> a good inch and three quarter of ash on here before it fell off. Really, the soft spots I was worried about burned right through them, no problems. Uh, changes in the flavor though. The leather disappeared. Still a touch of that earthiness there, but it was replaced by a deep creamy cedar flavor. It still has that underlying molasses sweetness to it and the spice on the finish tapered off it's very mild right now very mild spice it's still a little bit but not uh, not anything like it was Flashy label. Looks very nice. Burning like a champ. Tons of good smoke. Nice flavors. Medium. Straight across medium body, medium strength. Uh, this is a 6x60. 
and even a cigarless pig's not gonna not gonna knock a novice smoker on their ass. It's it's very uh, uh, mellow. I say it's mellow for a, for a medium. It's 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 tasty. It's good flavors. It's not strong, even at a thicker ring gauge like this. Uh, really enjoying this. Still a little bit of spice. Cedar flavor is very distinct, very creamy, very rich. Really nice. So I'm going to continue on, see if we get any more changes. So far, this is a primo smoke. I'm really liking it. Alrighty, <clears throat> welcome back to the cigar area with the Kimbao from JR Cigars. I'm in the final third here. Got a good inch and a half of ash on there. Really pretty nice straight burn. I made a mistake earlier. This is not the 6x60. It's the 6x52. This comes in three sizes. I'm going to tap this ash off before it ends up in my lap. Uh, comes in three sizes. <clears throat> 5x50 Robusto, 6x52, uh, which is this one, and a 6x60. Um, flavors still has that uh, strong cedar flavor. Not strong, but a, a deep, rich cedar flavor. Creamy. Spice picked up again in the final third. But it's not a, it's not, it's not a black pepper or a white pepper spice. It's a, it's, it's a, it's an odd kind of spice, but it's very nice. Uh, still lots of rich, creamy smoke. No residue, no heat at this point. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Good cigar. Really tasty. And. Uh, as far as price-wise, these are available in boxes of 10, and I believe the Robusto is about 40 bucks. This size is a 45, and the 6x60 is about 50. So they're four, four fifty, five bucks a pop. Also available in several of the samplers that JR offers. Uh, I got this one in a sampler. I really like this cigar. It's very, very tasty. Straight medium in strength and body. Good flavors. Started off with that earthy tobacco and then leather and then cedar all with a molasses type of uh, sweetness which is still there in this as well it's, it's that sweetness is just hung on through the entire smoke and then we had spice a little stronger at first then it tapered off and a little bit in the middle it came back in the uh, final third here so good balance enjoyable smoke uh, didn't get strong and bitter or anything toward the toward the end here. I still have a, about an inch or so to go. Um, so as far as rating this is something I would buy again. Definitely would buy it again. Um, this is something I might even consider buying a box of 10 of really tasty so this is this is definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book it's got everything I look for good mix of flavors 
good consistency, good burn, good construction, uh, good price. Can't beat it. Other than that, <clears throat> I don't have much more to say. Kimbao. Available at JR Cigars. Uh, it's the only place you can get them. And believe me, they're not paying me anything or giving me free cigars to keep plugging them through all these videos. But they have a lot of uh, in house blends. Uh, some are blends that are, you know, from major cigar makers, but they make them especially for JR. They sell them uh, exclusively on their website. And, and uh, that's the only place you can get them. So there you go, JR Cigars. More free plugs. And uh, all in all, great smoke. Really nice. Had a nice dinner tonight. Nice steak. Uh, was feeling a little full in the belly. This was a nice, enjoyable, relaxing after dinner smoke. Highly recommend it. So until next time, thanks for tuning in. I'm Mike Simmons. This is the Cigar Area. Please check out my website, my other YouTube videos. And until next time, I say again, happy smoking. In this world for free.